Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Eight Man Breakdowns with Coach E. I'm Coach E. Let's get started with the episode. So today I'm going to talk about how to digitize your playbook, specifically using Google. So digitizing your playbook or putting it online, having an online version of it, that's what I mean here by digitizing your playbook. And I'll show you how I'm going to do it today uh, using Google. So reminder, I'm no expert. Uh, I'm just sharing ideas and experiences, specifically today, just sharing an idea of how to digitize your playbook. And this is personally how I've created my own playbook and added on to it over the years. So if you're interested and would like to know more, send me a message through YouTube. I could even send you a link or a base template uh, that I've used in the past for myself. So if once again, if you like all things eight man football related, like I said previously, I will do a few 11 man things, but mostly just how it relates to eight man. So uh, but mostly if you're interested in eight man stuff, stick around, tune in, subscribe, like, please. That way you can stay tuned for future episodes. Uh, so let's get into it. So digitize your playbook. Step one. First, you need a Gmail account. So here I'll click on the Google link. Pretty simple. Just type in create a Google account on Google on the website. It's pretty easy. Step up or step one, choose it and type it in and come up with. And sometimes there's even Yahoo and Hotmail and school emails that are automatically linked as a Google account. So if you already got something like that, perfect. Me personally, I like to use a, my personal email and not my work email just for the fact that if I would ever leave or change schools or change places. Um, I don't lose everything that I had. So I'm keeping it as my personal email. That way I always have it no matter what I'm doing. Step two, using Google Slides or creating a Google Slide. So here's the symbol for Google Slide. Everyone has it. Whenever you go to Google, if you just once again type in Google Slides, if you're connected, you can click the Google Apps bar and it should be one of the following choices slides right there so there you go i'm currently using a google slide to make this video as well so moving on digitizing your playbook so step three here create a template and play art so step three create a template and play art let's get into that here so first of all and i'm going to show you using my google slide here so first of all you want to have some sort of a symbol here. So if you're using a shape such as a circle for offense, which is what I always do, pretty simple. Go to right over here, shapes, click shapes, circles, and then create the size that you would like. You can make it to be an oval, you can make it be a big O, whatever you wanna do. Then to change the color of it, change the fill. Let's go red for example. And then let's go with a black outline and thicken the outline to eight times eight, size eight so there you go that could be your offense of circles and also if you want to put this as a quarterback you do have the option to type letters in the circle and once again i'll show you that so there you go there's quarterback there's q now let's say if i'm making a defender I, I like to use triangles myself and honestly i like to flip them upside down so what i'll do here is spin it around 180 degrees so it's a triangle upside down and make it a little bit bigger in comparison to this. And then the really cool thing I like about this is if you want to line two guys in the line of scrimmage, look at that. It shows you how to even it up exactly. Or if you want to put a guy, say your quarterback is directly behind the center, like always, you can put him directly behind. And then the easy way to create multiple, so let's say this is the only lineman, is you just go Control or Command C and Command V to paste it. So there we go. We got two linemen there. I uh, got my quarterback directly behind the center. Let's say center, put C here for center. Make this a little bigger, 27, that looks pretty centered. And then once again, I got my defender. So let's say he's a nose tackle here, a nose guard. Put the letter N in the middle. And all you gotta do is click on it and it will automatically, hold on, I'm trying to get this, the word centered. Now let me do it for, maybe I need to select it.
Not let me change it. Oh well. Defensively, I usually don't label a guy anyhow. So, well, just for the per for this for the video's sake, if you'd like to, you can mess around with it and find out a way to do it. Um, once again, here, let's change the colors of the def defensive player. So we'll go blue and gold and put eight points. Actually, I wouldn't like. I don't like that. Let's flop it. Gold on the middle, blue on the outside looks a little better. Um, so there you go. There's how you start to create um, symbols for offensive and defensive players. And of course you can do drills like this here. I had a drill set up um, and you could say, you can label each one of these guys and put also more stuff onto it. Let's move on. So once you start getting your play art, so now let's get into that. How do you do play art? So here's a specific play. Let me delete. This is 11 man play. I'll change it around here, make it into a eight man play. Let's go copy and paste, make a running back here. Let's say we're in a spread formation, offset right. And let's say we're running, let's say we're running smash. So here's how I do this. So click on line up here, we'll go down to polyline. Oh, I untagged it, so click on there. Now, here's where you start your line, you click, you go up to where you want, whatever you want to do. So let's, we're saying smash. So he's got, this guy's got the corner out. And then when you want to finish your play art, double click. Now it's got it selected. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Let's make it eight, size eight again. I usually like to put my routes like lime green. Whoops, don't need to fill it. Oops. The line, lime green. And then obviously if you want it to be a route, put the arrow on the end of it. So there you go. Now let's do the next one here. Let's say we're running. Let's say this guy's running like a, a whip, I guess. So we're changing it. It's not really a smash or smash with a whip tag. So he's going here. So there we go. Once again, give him the color, give him the arrow at the end, make the size bigger. There you go. So there we go. We got a smash whip over here on this side. Uh, let's say we got a, like a, let's say we got a post wheel action on this side with the back being the wheel, wheel route. So here we go. We got a skinny post. Eight size eight, put the arrow at the end. And now let's say a wheel. So I'm, I'm putting, I selected curve on this time. So check this out. So the running back is going to come out this way. Actually, let's make it a little wider. Now we get a curve action, meaning it's not obviously a straight turn up, up the field. There we go. So on the curve, each time you click, it'll round it out. And another thing, the next portion here, if you would like to go back and edit it, all you got to do is click on it and double click. All right, so now let's say I actually wanted this guy to do a dig. Move it to there. There you go. I mean, it's that simple. Or say this guy, I changed my mind. I wanted him to do a pivot and come back inside, outside in rather than inside out on a whip. There we go. So now we got our dig and our pivot. We, it was that easy to switch it around. All right, and then once again with the curve, you can do the same thing. You can make it like a, you can tighten it up, loosen it out. Makes change your curve around of how you want this curve to look for your wheel route. There you go. So now you got your play art here. <clears throat> so moving on. So now the next part is with your play art is putting it into a play. So here, once again, I labeled the offensive players, each position, and I labeled, I did not label the defense players, but I put defenders out there. So moving on again. Now, adding assignments to your play art and template, adding assignments. So once again, I got to e exit the screen here to, to do this portion. So adding assignments, um, all I did is this right here. So you add a text box, type in in order of how you want it to be and add on to it. And now I will get into that even more here in this next step. So adding detail and finalizing. So specifically for me, I will do like this. Like I break all my past plays down into concepts. So here we got the stick concept and I say, okay, here's what we're looking for. It's a curl flat combo. 
Um, and then if you have a tag of a specific word association of what you call your stick plays. So if you say leaf, branch, twig, I don't know. I'm just throwing in associations out there. Obviously, everyone's terminology is different. It does not have to be anything similar to mine. Just throwing out ideas. So then here's the next step. If you want to have actual yard markers and lines on your in the background of your play art and template to know, okay, you want to run, set up a two-point play and show exactly where you're show your players exactly where to line up and what we're looking for. You can do that as well. So let me click on this here. So here all I did was Google football field image vertical. So a vertical football field. And this one looks decent, I guess. Actually, I'll probably steal this one and I'll show you what I'll do with it here. So actually I like that one, the hash marks a little better. So copy your image, go on back to the video. Once again, I got to exit the full screen. Um, and now let's see, let's make a blank page here and paste. Okay. And now since I know, even though it's not vertical, I know I can make it vertical by spinning this image. So there we go. We got it vertical. Now. I also like this one a little better because this previous image, it has the goalpost on the goal line. I have no idea why this isn't the Canadian football league. Um, but anyway, so here we go. Let's make this a little bigger. And me personally, I would only want to be, I want to have about half of the field. And with the date man being 40 yard, the midfield, let's do that. Let's make, let's break it down to the 40 yard field and expand this here. Another thing I don't really care to have the sidelines as wide. Also in an eight man field, the sideline would actually truly be just outside the numbers on the 11 man field, but we'll break it down. Yeah. Let's break it down to about there just outside the, Let's do that just to be as close as we can to the actual true eight man field here. And then let's bring it back to the back of the end zone. Actually, let's just do it right there. I don't know what them, why them white tick marks are painted inside the line, not sure. So anyways, now let's stretch this out a little more. And actually I am gonna widen this out a little, oops. And shrink this down a little bit more. So let's actually shrink, shrink it down to the 30-yard line. And then we can expand a little bit more here. I'll just do this. I'll just fill up the screen and break it down to even to there. Let's go down to the 20. Okay. So here's what we got with our finished look here of the end zone. Now we go back to this. Select your template of plays and copy them and now paste it on top. So now you got exactly the reason I chose gold and this light blue is because I knew this background was going to be a bright green color. So now speaking of that, I need to change these to be like black, I guess. Yeah. Black will work. Let's make them a little bigger too. So there we go, we got that. And this is basically exactly how I like to have mine. And then I got my assignments already typed up and in, and I'll paste that on here. And now to finalize this background, I'm gonna do like, yay. So that way it's not in the assignments there. So there you go. And then on top of that, I'll even copy and paste this title, play title screen. Change the color to black. And there we go. Now let's make, actually, let's change it to white. I think it'd stick out a little better. Make it a little bigger. So there we go. In this case, now we got empty formation, brown, double stick. The only reason I say, obviously, the terminology does not mean anything. This is not my terminology. Uh, I'm just saying, okay, we got an empty formation, double twins in this case. Let's move. Uh, Let's move the route out a little bit and the running back. So now we got a double twins look, twins on each side, empty brown back on the right side, uh, double stick. 
There you go. So you, in this case, it's not really a double stick. It is a curl flap, but it's it's like a I don't know double spot. I guess you could say snag and shoot. Say that double snash, snag and shoot. Of course, that's not a word, but ignore. So there you go. Uh, that's kind of a base template of how to put all your plays on here. And like I said before, I will put it like this. So here's what I would mine would officially look like. So let's say it's actually just called, let's say snash is one of our stick concept play and it calls. So now we got specifically snash here, empty brown, double snash for snag on the outside and shoot. There you go. And then the assignments, obviously you can reword these however you want. Um, tell them your O-line exactly how they're pass blocking. I just summarized it for the sake of the video. Pass block, D-line. F, run the quick shoot route left flat after X crosses. T, run the quick shoot route to the right after the Y crosses. Pre-snap read the right corner in this case. Um, if he's playing off, then anyway. Just random stuff I typed in here. Uh, for the sake of the video, that way you have a little background information or have an idea of what to do here. So if anybody likes this breakdown of how to digitize your playbook and put it onto Google Slides like this, let me know. Send me a message on YouTube. I'll even send you the specific breakdown template of, I'll, I'll let you, I would send it to you and you could create a copy for your own. And literally, I don't care if you use the entire thing, if you'd like. So. Let me know. Let me know what you think. But remember, I'm no expert on this. This is just how I've done it over the years and added to my playbook. And like I said, I'm just sharing ideas and experiences, specifically how to digitize your playbook. Today was the idea I was sharing. So if you like this idea or the video, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button on the video. And thanks for watching.